So we came to dinner at um, Pompano's Joe's Seafood House. And Carol is asleep, which is a blessing from God himself. So we're having some daiquiris now. And then hopefully... Oh, it's going to be... Mm. Nice view to eat your food. Beautiful. Guys, I just feel so lethargic. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry, I'm tired. I think tomorrow's gonna be a better day. I'm literally gonna sleep until 8. Wake up at like 8. Get the baby dressed, go have breakfast, come back up, and maybe sleep again. I think I could start the day at like 12. Yeah. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Just a really chill day. So we got some reggae spring rolls. Guys, that looks so good. And Keegan got some crab claws. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> so we had dinners at Joe's. Uh, sorry, at Pampano Joe's. It was good. Kara woke up mid dinner and it had the beautiful view of the Gulf. So that was, a, you know, a plus. Now we're about to head back to the hotel. We're kind of battling in our mind if we should go to Walmart because we need to get some stuff at Walmart. What happened? You pinned him? We're here now for breakfast. I had waffles and eggs. Power had waffles and eggs and milk. And he had apple juice, but I don't think I get apple juice because he looks so. Hey, Baba. Yeah. We're still eating eggs somewhere. He has a spoon somewhere and I refuse to go find it right now. So this is how we're doing this eggs this morning. So yeah, keep up with it. I wanted to get the breakfast. So this hotel is called La Quinta and is located in Miramar Beach, Florida. It's roughly like I would say 140 to like 180 to 10 per night. And you get breakfast in the morning. It was not a huge spread, but it was all it was all, all, always a good offering every morning. And it's a walking distance to the beach, walking distance to a lot of great shopping areas. And if you're ready to book, guys, let me know. Hit me up. So we came to Walmart to just get a few things. You don't see no paper, no one. Right? The Santas, too. And yeah, let y'all know what we got. So we came by the pool, just chilling. And let me just say, your boy's having a whole vacation right there. Like, he's Cairo vacation right now. Vacation mode Cairo. That's what's happening. Guys, I forgot to tell you, we are going to Panama City Beach to see my friend Anna. I haven't seen Anna in years and I'm so excited to see her. So these are the views. Let me say it's really pretty. We're going over this big lake. But yeah, it's really nice. So we are in Panama Beach, guys. We just left Anna. And now we're at Pear Park. This is so beautiful. Like, this whole vacation is getting even better and better by the second. So, we're gonna go to Margaritaville, best to believe. Yes, we're Jamaican, we're going to Margaritaville. It is what it is to have dinner. So, let's go. Store. You got all kind of Panama City 
shirts. I was thinking of getting that one for Cairo. But that's not for him. He's still having everybody hold him. I'm like, should I get a shirt now when he's gonna outgrow it by like next two, two months? And it's like it was a waste, but it could be like a memorabilia. But I don't know. What do you guys think? So we walked all the way down to this beautiful um Ferris wheel. It's not like Atlanta though. Moving on. And they have a little I guess kids park thingy here. It's kinda cute. Beautiful palm trees. And now we are about to walk over to I Heart Sugar. Cause they have a beautiful wall. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna cap for the vlog like I'm buying candy. I'm just going in there to see the background. That's what that's that's just me being completely honest. The background is the reason we're walking to that store and the whole vibe. So, quick update guys. After Keegan broke my toes, <laughs> they still hurt. <laughs> and because they still hurt, right now it's kind of hard to walk. But we are making it at these roads and stuff so yeah this is so cute can we take the baby out of the car seat between them two we do it later got it in here smell like diabetes <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful though i know my husband has a gummy bear attic I know his skin's scratching him, right? I told you. My husband have a gummy bear attic. Look at them huge gummy burns. I know you're saying. And <laughs> I'm fine, like oh pez. pez. Oh my fugly! Come here! Come here! Guys, if you know me, you know me. You know me. Oh my god. Oh my god. First of all, this is Butter Bear. First of all, these are Harry Potter. Second of all, these are Golden Snitches. I don't know what you're talking about. Harry Potter. The whole thing is Harry Potter right now. <gasps> A chocolate wand? What? Why am I married to you? This don't make sense. What's Harry Potter? Harry Potter is my life. It's called butter. Oh, it's butterscotch. It's supposed to be butter bear, to be honest with you. I don't get the scotch part. Oh, they got a Paw Patrol thing, Bubba. Huh? I don't know what's going on. Why are we eating shoes? I don't know why my baby's eating shoes, but that's what's up right now. Oh, these are cute. These giant mini Mickeys. What is this? Sour. Hit start at the top of your head. Go up. Huh. Watch it. Don't break your nails. Watch your face too. Ready? Yeah, good. Yeah. I want to do it now. That's it. Round two, two. <laughs> Baby, that is.
is it now? I guess that was it. Huh? It was fun. It was fun. I give them that. Yeah. So we did some. Huh? Yeah, you did win. You did win, baby. I'm so proud of you. So strong. Okay. Moving on. Let's see if I can get some coins. Hey, Zoltar. So I got a question right. Will I get my job that I want? What are you waiting for? Come on over. For a small fee, Zoltar will give you a wealth of wisdom. I know my answer right here. I'm Gryffindor all the way. But thank you, Thinking Hats. We respect you. All wizard and wizardries all over the world. We respect you. Zoltar is here. You are here. The penny. It calls out to be crushed. Let it be so. <laughs> How does he crush the penny? How does he crush the You can use a card machine for Zoltar? Must be nice. Yeah. How does he crush a penny? Build a bear. Oh my god, Cairo! Guys, so we made it over to Destin's side, and then here's Crab Island that everybody talks about on Instagram where you come and you park your boat, and it's a vibe in there. And yeah, I don't know if I'm really not that interested in going to be honest with you. One, I have a baby, two, I just don't like the middle of the ocean kind of vibes in the sun. I'm not a sun kind of person, so yeah. So yeah. Over, just, so we're gonna do the stroke by the stroke. Guys, this be giving me Hellsha Beach vibes. Like we driving to Hellsha on a Sunday, and the people that park up on the road right there. Like this is how it feels. Or better yet, Nama Mana International Airport vibes in Kingston. This is it right here. People park up and trying to get to the beach for free. <laughs> So this is giving me Jamaica vibes, but yeah, we're driving, well, we just were going to do a sightsee today, we're driving to Santa Rosa Island, just because we made a wrong turn and we say, no, I'm just, you know, wing it, we don't know where we're going to exactly lay roots down, but for now, we're just winging it, you know? But like we're gonna head back to at a destiny or Miramar to do an actual beach right, babe? Yeah. Let's, let's just see my husband's fit of the day. He got a cute back shirt on, lips as usual. <laughs> he got little black glasses, his little blue shorts. And yeah, that's my husband's fit for the day. And Carol's fit for the day, just a yellow onesie with a, a shorts. And he gonna have his his um, bathing suit on later. Is it? Do you guys call it bathing suit as men? No. What do you call it? Oh, well, he got that top too. Yeah. Beachwear. Beachwear. His beachwear on. So yeah, that's what's upper for today. Just driving. It's a drive day get to know new places. Do you think I should get a baby on board sign in my car? No. No? Before having a child, I thought it was the cutest thing to just have a baby on board thing. And then, you know, it just seems so over overrated at this point. Oh, I did that out. Big nothing sticking on. But yeah. I'll let you guys know if anything is interesting down in Santa Rosa. In half a mile, make a U-turn at Gulf National Seashore Drive. And Santa Rosa Island, we'll let y'all know what's up. Bye. So we just passed an aquarium. They have the sheriff office right here. Um, this says Floyd Shrimp House. So I noticed, I don't know if it's because we're in the Gulf. There's a whole lot of shrimp places here. Um, so this is Floyd's, AJ's Beach Club burgers and the grill bar stuff 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 
and we're gonna try and get to the pair then after this we're gonna leave this pair and go down to destin pair and then we'll see how the day takes us from there yeah yeah so we made it to the boardwalk i'll say the beach is kind of cute kind of pretty i'm about to do a little long walk it's so hot no joke so hot got me a little gatorade just to like fight the heat funny thing i have some like water and juice in my or bag but it's way over there and it's like 100 degrees and i was about to pass out so i got something peeing on him a good humor bar and car is just over this his legs are getting bronzed so yeah let's go so we came with the shirt, saw this cute little dolphin, and he is almost gone. Still here. Oh, there he goes again. Hey, Baba. There's one more right there. This is why I do not like going in water in mainland USA because you can't. That's a dolphin today. It could be a shark tomorrow. Look how close those people are. Like, <laughs> seriously, no. You don't see that? A turtle is fine, but a dolphin could easily look like a shark. We're not even that far out. We're right here. So we are at um, Fat Boys in what's this, Miramar? Yeah, Miramar. 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 So we are at Fat Boys, Juicy and Tasty Birds. Juicy and Tasty, Tasty Birds, and we got this beer. It's called the uh, Ace Pineapple. Let me just say, this thing is fantastic. Not a beer lover, but if you like Angry Orchard and you're looking something real good, this is fantastic. As for side of limes, because I'm like, if it's not good, I can always like make it a, uh, what's that, what's that beer, a Corona, you know? But it's so good, no joke, it's so good. Then we got your boy over here, you know, doing his thing, acting up. He ordered some wings and Keegan ordered, you know, his favorite chicken teriyaki. And then we got some shrimp for his apps and stuff. So let's see. This might just be dinner or lunch. We might not be hungry again the rest of the day. He looked at us like, bruh. And maybe the rest of the day might just be like a, a to-go sandwich. Who knows? Want you want lobster roll? Dipping butter. Okay. All right, let's see what we can get. Got some mushroom sticks and sticks and squares. Some shrimp. Triangles. Triangles. Triangles, yeah. Mozzarella triangles, some breaded shrimp, and it came with bum bum sauce, fat boy sauce, and marinara. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is the bullshit about having kids. Hope y'all taking notes. Hope you taking notes. So we decided to extend our stay. And now we're heading to another beach. So we got Kawa here, all his stuff, like all his junk, <laughs> pretty much. And here comes Daddy. Family thing and book like a whole family room. Let me know because they got really nice condos here. And I think if you know you need more than five people, it's really good to like book a condo on the beach, like one of these. And funny thing, it's not that expensive. If you want, I could give you all a breakdown of what it potentially could be. So a nice condo with maybe a pool and just know that you won't be getting your breakfast service or your room service but at the end of the day some of the time people don't even use the breakfast service they still go out to eat because you want the whole experience so let me know if y'all interested in that oh, please. Henderson State Park and you pay six dollars 
per I believe four to eight people in a vehicle. And now we are look at that sand though. Honestly, let's take a minute just look at the whiteness of them sands. Like they bleached it. Like what? What? Where have you seen white sand like this? Anyway, so we're gonna go there today to see what's up her. And then we might either stay here or go back to Mama. We're trying to get a lobster roll today, so let's see. Try to do some more seafood options. Yes, I have it found. Some pampanel joes, and I got a Cubano sandwich, and King got coconut shrimp or hush puppies, and rice and beans. So, yeah. And the view is to die for, so that's like a big plus. We are leaving Destin. Baby, how do you feel about leaving Destin? Ready? I have a good time. Ready to Me too. I'm, I'm kind of ready. I'm trying to get Carol some Miss Rachel to watch. We stopped out. Culver's to get some food because we missed breakfast this morning. Honestly, we just decided, decided to sleep in to be honest with you. We've just been on it, on it, on it. So, like, let's just sleep in today. And yeah, so we're just chilling. Cairo in the back doing his Cairo thing. We are packed to capacity in here. I think we packed better when we came. I don't know if we bought extra stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So, I'll do a trip breakdown in sometime this week before I add this vlog up but yeah it was a great trip had fun it, it's hot it, it was super hot then there's a hurricane coming so I guess you know for a hurricane to form you gotta have a series of hot and cold and da, 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 whatever so usually before a hurricane us tropical people know that before a hurricane days before it's miserably hot there's no air it's just stand still until a hurricane passed then the breeze will come with it so I kind of figured it out that was gonna happen but in the meantime I'll see you in Georgia I'll see you on the road back to Georgia back so we are at what's it called you ugly you follow you follow yeah. nice little lake houses and stuff in Alabama so we've made it to Alabama guys it's approximately 2 36 Alabama time watching and if you feel the need please subscribe and if you do like it like it if you don't it's it's okay we still love you and click the notification bell so you can see when we have new videos thank you houston fam